I love to cook. Do you? Hi, I'm Michelle. When you use kitchen knives for a while, the edges would become blunt over time and won't cut as well. In cases like this, I guess you would normally use a knife sharpener like this. But would you be surprised if there was a cutting edge knife that doesn't need any sharpening? Well, there seems to be a Takumi who makes just that. We visited Kami City in Kochi Prefecture. The climate in Kochi is warm with a lot of precipitation which allows for quality trees to grow. For this reason, the forest industry has developed. So blacksmithing for making axes has thrived for more than 500 years. In this city with the tradition of blade making, a cutting edge kitchen knife was created. Hello, I'm Michelle. Hello, I'm Hokiyama. Today's Takumi is Shinsuke Hokiyama. He is the third generation owner of a century old cutlery manufacturer founded by his grandfather. I heard there's a kitchen knife that won't go blunt even after using it many times. That's right. And this is the knife. I see. Would you like to try it? Absolutely. Here are two kitchen knives. The one on the top is an ordinary stainless steel knife, and the one on the bottom is the Takumi's knife. Both knives were used every day for one month. The knives have not been sharpened. With paper, both knives cut well. But what if we were to cut a rope one centimeter thick? Would you like to try cutting it? Cut this? Are you sure? First, the ordinary stainless steel knife. It doesn't cut at all. Oh boy, it's hard. Now, let's try the Takumi's knife. Amazing! Just the one stroke. It's so easy. You don't need to apply any pressure at all. This is the result of a test cutting a stack of papers with the same force. The vertical axis shows the thickness of the paper stack cut in one stroke. The horizontal axis is the number of times the knife was used. The conventional knife cut about 3 centimeters, but after a dozen times, it cut about 1 to 2 millimeters. But the Takumi's knife cut more than 2 centimeters for a long period of time. What is the difference between these two knives? The answer can be clearly seen by magnifying the blade edges. This is a stainless steel knife that has become blunt. The edges are straight. Next, this is a sharp brand new stainless steel kitchen knife. The edges are jagged like a saw. This is an image of an onion being cut. The jagged edges cut smoothly into the onion tissue. But when the jagged edges are gone, it cannot catch the surface and does not cut well. The sharpness of the blade depends on how jagged the edges are. Our kitchen knives do not lose this saw-like feature. It doesn't lose jaggedness? You mean the edges don't wear down? Wears, but the jaggedness is kept. Wait, what do you mean? The Takumi's knife retains jaggedness even after continuous use. He let us in on the secret behind the innovation. In fact, the blade edges are specially processed. This is before processing, and this is after. The blade edge before it's processed has a smooth surface, but after it's been processed, the surface is covered with a rough, grainy material. What is this? Titanium carbide is blended into ordinary stainless steel. This is the mechanism of the special process. The upper part is titanium carbide, the bottom part is stainless steel. When voltage is applied, the electrical discharge randomly melts the particles of titanium carbide into the stainless steel. Titanium carbide is hard and does not wear easily. The saw-like edge continues to appear even when the knife wears down. Takumi got his inspiration from an airplane engine. 
the engine parts withstand strong friction from high temperature gas that flow in high speed. The airplane parts are titanium carbide, which has strong resistance to friction. The Takumi wondered if it can be applied to kitchen knives. But it was not an easy task to apply the cutting edge technology to knives that were handmade. Every time there was a slight warp on the coating surface, the coating machine needed fine adjustments, making it difficult to produce in high volume. It required the knife to have less than a 0.001 millimeter distortion. The Takumi changed the conventional grinding stone to an even harder one made from resin. Also, the rotational speed of the grinding stone was brought down to one third the normal speed, allowing a more detailed finish in order to overcome the problems. This was how the Takumi's kitchen knives were created. The jagged blade edge did not go blunt even after everyday use for six months. By combining traditional forging techniques and the cutting edge technology, a new kitchen knife with everlasting sharpness was created. To develop a new product, it always takes time and we have to face a number of difficulties. But I hope to continue with my work while enjoying these processes. Today I brought the actual knife to the studio. What do you think? These look incredible. I would love to have a kitchen knife that doesn't wear down. It's amazing how they apply the latest airplane technology on traditional knives. Yes, and also let me know that you will damage the edges if you try to sharpen the Takumi's knives as you would with an ordinary knife. If by any chance you notice the edges starting to wear, you can send it back to the Takumi to get it reprocessed, and your knife will be as good as new. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Mizushima, how would you wrap up today's topic about mineral resources discovered in Japan's seabed? This discovery has major significance for Japan since we depend on import for most of our resources. If we can establish a technology to excavate resources from water 5,000 meters deep, it would mark the dawn of a new type of resource development. If that were to come true, not only Japan, but the entire world would benefit from it. I look forward to the day this becomes a reality. Thank you, Dr. Mizushima. And that's all for Science View. See you all next time. <laughs>